Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another colour series look. Can you guess the colour? It's one of my favourite colours. It's lime green. We are going to do a lime green, blown out, kind of wingy sort of look with a little bit of glitter because why not? I'm probably not going to do a full on green lip because I don't have that type of green that I want. So we're going to do a neutral lip with a green gloss. So essentially like these colours, I have this one here just to darken it. I will be using one of my favourite greens of my entire collection from my Zulu palette. I have to. I have a super shock. I have a glitter. I have green liners. I have a little bit of everything to play with this look. And lime is one of my favourite colours. If there is a palette with lime in it, I more than likely want to buy it. Or want to have a look at it. Or want to swatch it. Or want to own it. <laughs> so yeah. Basically it's one of my favourite colours ever. I love it. I love the kind of intensity of it that's still pale and it's kind of like a painful looking green i love that so that's it let's get into our look so if you want to see any up close pictures of the look that we do create because i don't really know how it's going to turn out i just have an idea in my head of what i want to do with it if you want to see those pictures it will be up on my instagram which is linked down below you can go give that a follow and help me pick out my next palette to swatch on my igtv as well because i do a poll every now and again and Yes, also hit subscribe obviously to see more of these videos because we have many colours coming up. Someone did comment on one of my previous videos asking for greens. I got you covered. I've got, I've just done teal, which you could say teal is technically kind of a green because it's a greeny blue. We're going to do a lime and I have two more that fit into a greeny kind of category. So that looks going to be fun. You've got lots of greens to work from then. So yes, let's get into this look. Alrighty guys, so I have my base on. I've got my brows and my eyeshadow primer on. It's all listed down below. I do also have my blush on because I wanted to use a cream and I wanted to set my face. So I did my cream first and then I'll set my face, but I'll let you know at the end what I use. We're gonna start with one of my most used eyeshadows in my whole collection. This is Inglot's eyeshadow in the shade 59. And this is like the classic lime green color that we're going for, that yellowy, sicky kind of green, acid green, whatever you want to call it, neon green even. It's not really neon, but whatever. I'm taking that on a BH Cosmetics number no. five rose gold brush. And we're going to pop this firstly to the outer corner, kind of wing it out in a like dramatic enough wing, you know, we're going, we're going for it. I'm also going to bring this into the crease to keep that shape. I'm just going in with little dabs and because the brush is so fluffy we're just going to go in and blend it out as we go and then we can always build up the colour but I have other greens to use. So then I'm also going to take that same shade on that same brush. You can use a smaller brush if you wanted to. We're going to just take a little bit of that on the brush and we're going to run that along the lower lash line all across. Make sure you connect it on the outer corner. We'll just really blow that out. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Bring it down as low as you want and just keep building until you've got the intensity the same as the crease. Okay, I'm glad I've already started on this side because my camera cut off. <laughs> what can I do? And um, we're going to jump into Kaleidos makeup. We are going into the Viewer Neon, which I knew, I know now is discontinued, which I don't understand why. It's one of the most beautiful palettes ever. And um, these shimmers are stunning. We're going to take the shade Glitch anyway because this is the only version of that colour that I have um, at the minute in my collection. I'm sure... The likes of Makeup Geek, Colourpop, um, where else am I doing? I'm not sure. There's lots of different brands you can use. This is what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. I will say as well, the first English shade that we use is like a sequin shadow, so basically a matte with sparkle throughout it. Um, mostly it'll dust away the sparkle, but you might get some bits stick to the skin out here. Which I kind of don't mind for this look. I actually like it. It is one of my favourite greens anyway in my collection. Just make sure as well when you're putting that green on, like this green that we're currently using, the one from Kaleidos, make sure you bring it onto your lid a little bit because I will be putting other colours there and I want a matte for it to blend into. I also don't even know if I mentioned it on this side, but I'm bringing a little bit of that same green along with that same brush. Again, you can skip to a different brush and not bring it down as far, but I like drama. So now we're going to jump right back into England. This is the shade 331. Just a nice mid-tone green, standard green. Not too grassy, not too emerald, 
not too mustardy anything like that it's just your standard green and i'm taking this on a bh cosmetics lavender Lux number six brush which is this small skinny fluffy brush so super skinny all i want to do with this is take this from the lashes in a wingy shape i'm not even really going to put this into the crease at all if i can help it sometimes i find it looks better if i do put it a bit into the crease but at the minute i'm going to leave it just go from your lashes start at your lashes and bring it upwards just so you're getting that sort of shape and i will bring some of that underneath the eye but i'll do that after i do my liner i think i think we'll do liner first so let's move on and we're gonna do my favorite cream yay so i'm just gonna take a little bit of glitter primer and a little bit on my finger this is the nyx glitter primer i'm just gonna press it on with my finger because i don't want this to be a cut crease or anything like that i want it to just press onto the lid Okay, so then we're gonna go into Juvia's Play's Zulu palette and we're gonna go into my favorite shade. Pretty sure this is my favorite green in my whole collection. I just love how stunning it is. And this is a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number eight. So it's just a big flat, kind of fluffy brush, but it's perfect for this, so. <gasps> I just love how it goes on. I love the color, I love the tone, I love the brightness, I love the texture. I just like it all with this color. And I'm trying to kind of almost bring it into a bit of a diagonal as well, the way the shape of that darker green is. So it just all flows nicely because we will be blending them into each other. Then I'm gonna go back into Glitch again, just for extra color and blending. We're just gonna go through the crease just to make sure there's no harshness between the shimmer and the mattes. And also a little bit just here for blending the shimmer into the mattes. You should still be able to see that dark green so you should still get that shape. If you need to, add a bit more of it. Just taking a little bit of that same lighter green on the biggest fluffy brush that we used and we're just gonna go around the edges of that wing area just to make sure it's all nice and blended because although I want it wingy, I also want it to be quite soft as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do my liner on my waterline first before I do any more shadows. I want to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Go Green. It kind of matches my top perfectly. Everything should really match this top perfectly for this look. And we're gonna go in with this and just pop that into the waterline. It's not the most opaque in the world. I wish it was a bit more pigmented so I didn't have to layer it up. Not even that it was more pigmented on the skin, it's more pigmented, but on the waterline it doesn't go on as pigmented but you can just layer it up and get what like as opaque as you want it to be and then just with a number 10 brush from bh cosmetics rose gold set i'm taking that same darkest green just on the very tip of this this is just like a little pencil brush and i'm just going to take a little bit of that and we're just going to run it on the outer third of the lower lash line that's it no further Okay, so then we're going to do the inner corner, which I'm also going to do lime green. And um, this is just a slightly lighter one than what I have gone on on the lid. This is Limelight from Makeup Geek. I'm pretty sure it's one of their, yeah, it's one of their foil shadows. And I'm taking on a fluffy brush just so I can diffuse the color quickly and easily. This is a base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And we're just going to pop that on the inner corner. And just really get in and work it in. Make sure it all blends. It'll just kind of give a hue. I wouldn't consider this to be their normal foil formula for Makeup Geek anyway. It's not the most like creamy foil sort of formula that they do compared to other ones that they have. It's actually a little bit drier. I've kind of hit hard pan on it, which I need to fix, but I haven't gotten around to doing it. So I'm using the big fluffy brush to try and get as much as I can off. But I do love the color of it. I love the tone of it. That's why I'm using it. And I've gone pretty big in here with that color because I wanted to really be seen especially since i'm gonna add something just on top of it but i want this to be like the halo around the outside so we're gonna take my colourpop super shock eyeshadow in the shade fizz i can never get these up but there we go and taking that same brush and look, oh my god look at that on camera hoo, 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 hoo. gonna take a little bit of that on that same brush these do work better on your finger but i think we're using a brush it might diffuse again a little bit it has a bit more sparkle like actual individual sparkles so I think that'll be nice in the inner corner. Okay, so we are all green, everything. I don't know if I'm gonna use the glitter. The glitter I was gonna use was this one. It was the Makeup Geek Sparkler in Supernova. And I was gonna do it like in here, but I like how that inner corner looks. I don't think I'll want to take away from that. So 
let's see we can always add it at the end i'm not too fussed about that so i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna do my mascara and my false lash so to pick a pair of false lashes to put on and then we'll come back we'll finish off the face finish off the lip and we can see how we look if we're all lined out okay so i have the eyes done and for my mascara i moved on to a new mascara this is the clinique lash power long wearing formula and yeah i just have a little sample size that i got i think in an advent calendar or a glossy box i'm not sure or at some point i can't remember but i have it so i'm using that one and um, it's nice but i pop lashes on so you can't really see it doesn't really matter and then my actual lashes are the violet voss false lash in vamptress i love them i love them it could be one of my new favorite pairs of lashes where you probably see them pop up a lot okay so onto cheeks like i said i already have my cream blush on um i used this new one this is the fenty beauty match stick shimmer skin stick in the shade trippin um, it's similar to the other one that I have which is Yacht Life but the Yacht Life has more pink and peach in it where this is more golden orange and I really like how it looks this it makes it look look very springy kind of like a flower and I'm living for it because it is springtime so why not so we're going to move on and do a little bit of bronzer because I haven't got any of that on and I want to keep it all very light not too contoury not too cool toned a little bit on the warmer side and I'm going to use hula light i may use a bit of hula but i'm not that dark yet so i might just use hula light from benefit and i'm just gonna take that on a big fluffy floppy brush this is a mac 137 one of my all-time favorite brushes for doing bronzer just take a little bit of that hula light and just gonna go to town on the back of my cheeks a little bit up into my temple just to bring the warmth all around without Make my face too sculpty. And then for highlight, we are going to go green. So I'm going to take Lucky Clover from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. Lucky Clover has, it's like a white with a slight green, not a slight green, that's a lot of green, <laughs> duochrome to it. Just take a little sweep of it because I don't want it to be too much. It's definitely a cooler type of green, but I think mixed with the gold that's already on my cheek, it'll just give a nice little extra effect. Kind of gives a ghostly kind of look and I kind of love it. Okay, and then onto lips, I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just go over my lips. Just to take the colour out of them. Because my lips are quite pink naturally. So if I take the colour out, it won't make the greeny sore toned gloss go weird on my lips. So it should come up a little bit more on the green side, hopefully. So I'm gonna use the Inglot Colour Play lip liner in the shade 327. It's one of their twist up pencils and it's kind of like a greyish sort of shade, so Hopefully it'll just give a little bit of definition more than anything. For my lip liner, I can't really talk while I do lip liner, but for my lip liner, I did want to go warm because I wanted it to be green. If I go for warm, it'll look a bit orangey against the green. So try to go as cool as you can. Okay, I've just popped on the NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss in the shade Foam Party. And I hate it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna rethink this. We might just do a nude lip and maybe pop this on top and see how we go from there. I do still want to use this. I just don't like the tones. It's too icy now and then this looks too yellowy toned. It's not the vibe I'm going for. The tone of this is a bit off because it is more of like a minty color where that's not what the tone of this is. I'll, I'm gonna think, rethink, rethink, I'll come back. Okay, take two for lips. So I'm gonna go in with Max Strip Down Liner which is more of a yellowy tan sort of shade. We're gonna try this and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna fill in my whole lip with it and then pop this on top and see if that gets me somewhere because I feel like with the blue hint that's in this and the yellow hint that's in this we might get somewhere that I like so we'll try it again if not I'll take it off again we're going through the process together okay so I mean this is not a bad look as it is but I mean come on I have to I just have to I, have to. I can't help myself can't help myself so same gloss bit better we'll just play around with it hang on i think we may have a winner i this is more the vibe i was talking about this i like this i like it now Alrighty, guys so this is how the look turned out i'm so much happier with this lip i think it's fab i think the eye is so so nice this is so me like if i want to do bright this is how i would do it i love it love the color obviously it's one of my favorite colors I just, I'm in love. I'm in love. It's like a neutral green lip. How weird is that? I like it. Yeah. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Did you like the look? Would you wear this? 
Would you wear this lip? Would you wear this eye? Would you wear them together? Or would you wear them separately? Would you even wear the colour at all? I don't know. It's one of my favourite colours. I adore this. And anyone else who loves lime out there, hit me up in the comments because I want to know. All my lime gals and guys, let me know. Like I said in the beginning, the pictures of this, of up close of my eye and up close of my face, will be all on my Instagram sometime after the video goes live. So you can see that all there. And I want you guys to subscribe for more. We have more, what's going up next? Oh, a different colour, yes. Yes, it's a different colour. <laughs> um, it's not a greeny kind of colour. So yeah, that's something different coming up at the end of March. And I'm also thinking about getting more into doing get ready with me's. Like I know I will have some coming up this year anyway, but I think I might do a couple a month. Just because I have time, I might as well like throw in a few extras and get a bit more use out of my collection that I already have. So why not? And also give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the easiest, simplest and quickest way to give me some support. Hit that little like button and it gets me around to more videos and helps me out a little bit. So yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.